From backyards to backwoods with Appalachian ash. Today, fire cider. Fire cider is an unpasteurized apple cider vinegar based tonic used to prevent and treat colds by boosting your immune system. As we process each ingredient, I will go over some of its benefits and how they add to the overall mixture. Ingredients Apple cider vinegar, one horseradish root grated, one cup of ginger grated, quarter cup of turmeric grated, two to three bulbs of garlic smashed or chopped, one onion chopped, two jalapenos sliced, two to three oranges sliced, two to three lemons sliced, three to five sprigs of rosemary, five to seven sprigs of thyme. Optional ingredients include half of a pomegranate, a stragglers root coarsely torn, one teaspoon whole peppercorns. We're going to begin by peeling and grating our horseradish root. This is a very pungent herb that can help you breathe easier, particularly if you're feeling congestion coming on, but it also has strong antioxidant and antimicrobial properties plus vitamin C that all contribute to its immune boosting effects. Be careful when grating, it will burn your eyeballs straight out of your head. Next, we're going to slice our oranges and lemons. We add the citrus because of its vitamin C, which is known for its immune health support. Not all fire ciders include citrus, but some do, particularly in the form of oranges. I also like to add lemons. This adds even more vitamin C and other antioxidants to the tonic, which is great for your immune system. Now we're going to crush the garlic. You may also chop if you choose. Either way, this powerful herb strengthens immune function. Some studies show that it reduces the severity of colds and flus. This is due in large part to its main compound known as allicin. Garlic also has antimicrobial properties, including antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. Now I'm slicing my hot peppers. I'm using jalapenos, but you can use any hot pepper. They all contain capsaicin, which is the compound that gives it so much heat. It also works in the body to stimulate circulation and digestion. Hot peppers also contain beneficial vitamins such as A and C. Ginger is an essential add to fire cider. Currently I'm using a vegetable peeler, but you can also use a paring knife to peel before you grate. Ginger boosts circulation and also stimulates digestion, making it beneficial if you have a sluggish digestion tract. It's also a decongestant, immune booster, and has antimicrobial properties that seem to be especially powerful against respiratory viruses. I'm adding pomegranate, but only for the simple fact that I had half a pomegranate in my fridge that hadn't been eaten, and I wanted to use it and not waste it. And let's be honest, this fruit is well known as a superfood. It's packed with antioxidants, fiber, folate, potassium, iron, and many vitamins, including C, K, and B. In this recipe, I'm adding white onion. You can add whatever onion you want. I'm only adding white because it's what I typically use in my house. And like garlic, onions contain the compound known as allicin that have immune boosting properties. They also contain sulfur compounds, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that further support overall health. Now we're going to peel and grate our turmeric. Be careful, this will stain everything yellow. It's the main ingredient in curry, so it comes as no surprise that its active ingredient is called curcumin. It has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect and it's a very strong antioxidant. It also helps break down mucus and supports lung health. Astragalus root is optional. I'm only using it because I have it on hand and use it for teas to protect and support the immune system, preventing colds and upper respiratory infections. This root contains antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, as well as many antioxidants. Other ingredients include rosemary, which is a rich source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds and are thought to help boost the immune system and improve blood circulation. It's also considered a cognitive stimulant and can help improve memory performance and quality. Thyme is also added for its antibacterial, antifungal, and antimicrobial properties, making it perfect for any cold or flu blend. It is also packed with vitamin A and C, copper, fiber, iron, and manganese, 
and has traditionally been used as a natural cough suppressant. Now that we've prepared all of our ingredients, we are going to begin combining them, starting with our fresh roots, horseradish, ginger, and turmeric, followed by our fruits. In this video, you can see I'm using a half gallon jar. I will soon realize that this jar is too small, but only after trying to shove every single ingredient into the jar. So take it from me, get a one gallon jar. Two ingredients we've yet to talk about are honey and apple cider vinegar. Let's begin with the honey. It's essential that you use raw honey because it contains enzymes, nutrients, and other compounds that get killed when pasteurized honey is processed. It's full of antioxidants and is also good for your digestion because it acts as a prebiotic. Last but not least is our apple cider vinegar. In this case, it's what all the other ingredients except the honey are infused into. It extracts all the goodness from the herbs and brings its own sharp sour flavor to the fire cider. It is important to use apple cider vinegar with the mother, meaning it has the cultural benefits of bacteria that turns apple cider into vinegar, leaving it unrefined, unpasteurized, and unfiltered for maximum benefits. After you've added all of your ingredients and topped with your apple cider vinegar, you're going to put this away somewhere and forget it for about four weeks, at which time you will remove the solids, strain the liquid, and then add your honey about a cup and then you'll be finished. You'll shake it up and take two to three tablespoons a day or as needed. 